Hello and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a brand new hard drive in your system and whatever you want it for. So here is my new hard drive, this is the packaging it comes in, an anti-static bag, it is 2TB and SATA 6 compatible. Comes in a very nice shiny bag, well protected, waterproof, moisture proof, static proof, all that, all that you need. So to open it all you do is rip off the top and pull it out and here is your drive. It's a Hitachi Desk Star and well this is a hard drive you haven't seen one before and here is confirmation of the specs. So we've got a SATA 6 there and 2 terabytes capacity there. Now we're going to install it in my brand new computer. This drive has a 2.5 inch converter in it which I take out, you can see on the left and it has 4 pins which punch into your hard drive instead of screws which is very useful. Voila it's done! No screws. So pushing it back in, as simple as taking it out, just slides in there, just like that, and then clips on when you push it in far enough. All done. Oh no, maybe not. All done. There we go. And all you need to connect it is obviously your SATA cables. So this is the data cable, and you have the power cable on the inside. Connect them up, and we need to find some software. So I want to install Windows to this drive. And I want to copy my current set of windows over there. So I'm going to use a program called Partition Wizard Home Edition. I'll put the link in the description if you want to download it. But you can also use this program to set up your hard drive if you want to use it as a data drive. So it will format your hard drive even if Windows doesn't pick it up. But I want to copy the disk, so I'm going to go to Disk Copy Wizard, select Disk 3, which is my current drive, 1 terabyte, uh, Seagate something, onto my new 2 terabyte Hitachi Desk Star. There it is. And next, fit partitions to disk so it stretches the partition from one terabyte to two, but you can partition that into whatever crazy partition structure you want. And to finish it off, you press apply in the top left, just like that. And it gives you some warnings like, do you, are you sure you want to do this? I know you've just gone through the whole wizard thing, but are you sure? Yes, I am sure. And it'll come up with this, asking you to restart, because obviously it can't copy the Windows drive if the Windows drive is in use, because it blocks it. So next time you start it up, after the reboot, you get this. Welcome to Partition Wizard. We'll start in two, one seconds. You can skip it if you want to, but that just eliminates the point of doing this. So I'll load up the engine, has its own little boot structure. And there it is. Copying from drive C to drive F, I think the current thing was. I mean, it hasn't got a letter at the moment, but it turns to F later. I know what you're saying, you've got a laptop. What do you do then? Well, you can use the same software as the Partition Wizard. But open the back of your laptop and this is your hard drive. You will notice it's a lot smaller than the desktop hard drive. It is only 2.5 inch compared to 3.5 inch. Its mountings are also a lot different. There's only one black screw there holding it in its caddy. So take the black screw out and slide it towards you just like this. And the hard drive is out. This is a 2.5 inch SATA ready for laptops. Also a Hitachi as Asus seem to use. Obviously take your battery out, I forgot to mention that. And here it is. You've got two screws, one in either corner, opposite corners, just keeping the hard drive in there. So undo those, simple as this. That's one, and that's two, right there. And once you get these out, the hard drive comes free from the caddy, meaning you can change it with whatever hard drive you want, providing it's two and a half inch. And there is the caddy on the bottom, ready for your new hard drive. So to put your new hard drive in, just got to screw it back on, exactly as the old one was in. Exactly the same. So that's one, and two. And again, this hard drive is ready for fitting. So we're going to bring the laptop back, pushing the hard drive out of the way in the process. And it goes exactly back. So first you put it in away from the connector. As you can see, the connector is right there, next to the Wi-Fi. So you put it in with some distance first, and then you slide it towards the connector. Get it flat first, obviously. And in it goes. It's easy as that. Your hard drive has been changed, but make sure you secure it with this black screw that we took out earlier. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.